everybody, it's Lou from Cool Kedge TV and I am back playing Sort the Court. We're on day 17. Let's continue. I can't even remember, so let's see how we left it. I'm sure I wanted to leave it on a high, and I think we did. So we're going to have to up the game this time. So let's continue. I can hear scream. Wow, look at that. We are doing pretty well. I can hear screaming downstairs, so I might have to go and sort it out mid-flow, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> There's been a brawl at the tavern. Should we arrest who's responsible for starting it? Oh, I think we should arrest those people for starting a fight. I shall have them arrested at once. Thank you very much. The festival in Town Square celebrating the town's 500th citizen is still going strong, bringing happiness to all those that attend. I missed what happiness it was then, but I'm sure it was very good. Day 17 is complete. Population up, happiness is up, and wealth is up. So, all green. We like all green? Uh-oh. It's a little thing. You feeling spooky today? Yeah, I'm feeling spooky. Spooky every- oh. Let the blood flow. You little creep. Wow, hello. Peanut the monkey. How are you with your little nice earrings in? Ook, ook, ook. He's got a shiny coin. I see, so what should we say to that? Yes? Oh, we gave five. Thank you, little peanut. What <laughs> a monkey are you? It's Chester. I accidentally ate some folks out front. Can I just pay you back with gold? I think we're just going to have to say yes. Because you've eaten them, the butler. Malie, there is a man in the foyer asking to join your guard. He's got an eye patch. Looks a little shifty. <laughs> Let's just have him. We like shifty people. What do you think? Should we take a chance on this stranger? Yeah. Let's take a chance. Indeed. More swords will help us. Uh-oh, it's him again. Little thing. You feeling spooky today? No, I'm not feeling spooky. Not even a tiny spook? Little baby bat? No baby bats! Go away! Baby bats. The festival in the town square is winding down and people are getting back to their normal lives. So day 18 is complete. Because of Chester, the population is down five. Everything else is elf. Everything else is up, which is brilliant. Next. Wow. The scientist has arrived. Hello, hello. I am well. I am the scientist. I do science for you, Queen. Well, you do science for us now, so I wonder what you do. You see, the city has grown, and we have grown too. The science community, that is. <laughs> now we have our very own council of science, of which I am the leader. Are you now? Are you now, indeed? Today, I simply wish to introduce myself, and now I have a hat. I will visit you again in the future regarding our projects, science projects. Oh, we said that rather seriously. Skelly's back. Any mysteries afoot? I can do some snooping for a small fee if you're interested. Go on then. Do a bit of snooping. We'll uncover the truth and report back to you. Thank you very much. I am looking forward to that. Oh, the butler's back. There's a party I'd like to go to this evening, my lady. Might I have the rest of the day off? Oh, indeed you can, dear butler. Have an afternoon off. Thank you. We will toast to your honour. I am very grateful. Oh my god, he's back again. He is keen, keen. The Council of Science has had a most wonderful idea. Yes, yes, we have devised a way to broadcast music across the entire city using a network of sonic hardware. That sounds pretty interesting. I'm not quite sure if this would be useful, but wouldn't it be fun to try? In the name of science. Indeed, in the name of science. I think we might have to sit, look into this, guys. I'm certain we could do it on a budget. As well, a mere hundred gold should suffice. I think we should go for this for a hundred. We'll get started on it straight away. Soon the streets will be filled with song. <laughs> God say somebody was eaten by an enchanted tre enchanted treasure chest. Chester. Chester. Day 19 is complete. Population is down one, happiness is up four, and wealth is down 110, which isn't too bad. Who are you, dear fellow? A ball of twine? He's called Yarno, ball of yarn. Ha! <laughs> hello, hello, I am Yarno of the Comfy Kingdom. Comfy Kingdom? Comfy. <laughs> Comfy Kingdom? That sounds awesome. You may not believe this, but I am the royal assistant of King Pin himself. Indeed, the very same. I mean, well, yes. I've been noodling around this kingdom of yours, and I, uh, oh, wait. What's that over there? Button Boy. Hello, Button Boy. <laughs> Button boy. Original. Great madam, did you happen to see a blue fellow come through here 
just now? Indeed I did see a blue fellow. He was very strange. Strange new noodly limbs made of yarn? <laughs> you can't miss him. I did I did see him, yes. I knew he was around here somewhere. I'm going to find that darn Yarno. Oh, he's a bit angry. He's been running around claiming to be Kingpin's royal assistant, which of course he is not. Ooh, telling lies, I see. In fact, it is I, Button Boy. <laughs> he sounds like a superhero. He represents the comfy kingdom and the esteemed Council of Crowns. Wow. Hello, Button Boy. Have you heard of the Council of Crowns, good madam? Indeed I have. I am the Queen. Then surely you thought about joining. Perhaps we could work a bit of a deal. I thought someone else had done that for us. We'll join it anyway. How long are you staying for? Time! That Yano's been giving me nothing but trouble. If you could somehow put it to a stop, put a stop to his shenanigans, I might be able to get you a meeting with Pia. Pia, the advisor of Celestial Kingdom. They're throwing in these words to test me, guys. If anyone will be able to induct your kingdom into the council, it would be her. Well, I say we should do this. What do you say? Will you help me catch that darn yarn? Yes, I will help you catch that weird bit of yarn, that noodly looking fellow. Very good. I'll leave the details up in your discretion. Once Yano is out of the way, I'll set up a meeting with Pia. Okay. Oh my god, thank you for your assistance in this matter, good madam. I shall we'll meet again soon. Okay, goodbye. Oh my god, the drummer. Bum, bum, ba -da -ba bum, bum, Yeah, you like rhythm, brah. <laughs> I'm so uncool. <laughs> Let me try that again. Yeah, you like rhythm, brah. No, that was even worse. Yeah, I like rhythm. Yeah, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. I'm in the groove. God, it's Chester. I'm hungry. Can I eat some folks? got plenty of gold so I can pay you back for their lives. No! No, Chester! Oh, the scientist is back. Hello, hello! <laughs> like a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> hello, hello! The Council of Science has devised a blueprint for the gold generating machine. The gold generating machine? It will take some time to construct, yes, yes, and many resources. But if my calculations are correct, at least it will produce gold steadily for the rest of eternity. Wow, that is some impressive scientific work going on back there. Perhaps you might initiate this project with a small research grant of 500 gold. Ooh, that would be half our money. Let's do it, do it, do it, do it. Good, good. Yes, yes, we'll begin construction straight away. Ooh, let's see what this brings, shall we? Scientists have constructed a large factory. Uh-oh. To further their work on gold generates being pollution becomes a problem. Ah, oh, pollution. Wow. I'm not even going to say that. Let's just move on. Oh, look, it's the gardener. Yes, I remember the gardener. Some plant people have sprouted in the gardens. Are we allowed to make them official citizens? Oh, yes, indeed we are. Grandma's back. Uh, hello, sweetie. Can I borrow a coin for the newspaper? Yeah, you have a coin, Grandma. Oh, fisherman. My boat's too tiny to catch many fish. Can I have some gold to upgrade it? I'll pay you back, I swear. How much is this gonna cost me though? You're not giving me a figure. Go on then, we'll check a chance. How much are you gonna take? Oh, 100, it's not too bad. Oh, you won't regret this, you'll see. Well, I hope not, dear fisherman. Bring me some fish and I may be all right. So day 21, two green this time, so not too bad. These have gone green, not red. The butler. There's a party I'd like to go to. You are pushing it, butler. There's another party. Another party. Where's my invite to the party? Oh, Chester. You ever seen a treasure chest do a backflip? I don't think I have seen a uh, treasure chest. Well, you're not gonna. Well, that is so rude. The wizard. I was just passing through and thought you might like some magic. Anything could happen. Care to give it a try? Yeah, go on. Let's see what happens. No! Beast. I read the nicest story in the paper today. Isn't it a lovely day? It is, Grandma. It is a very nice day. Right, Sophia's in the room. She's a little bit moody, so I'm going to try and carry on and do at least this day and maybe a little bit more. Look, there you are. Look, I can see you. Moody little beast. <laughs> Quite jolly now, so that is good, good. So, day 22 complete. Let's see if we can gain, gain, gain and make it all green. No red. Citizens say a monkey has been running around flinging stuff at them. Should we put him back? Should a bounty on it? Yeah, yeah. Let's just catch this monkey and sort it out. The fisherman. Thank you, dear fisherman. Thank you indeed. LD 3.0. I forgot about him. I'm going to leave the kingdom now to pursue my dream of becoming a game dev. Goodbye. Ah. Oh, I might have to let you go. 
let's let him leave and pursue his dream. Goodbye, dear LD 3.4. Maybe our paths will cross again one day. Probably not, though. <laughs> it's fine. The owners of the tavern are making piles of gold and wish to share some with you. Thank you very much. Day 23, we've got to do one more day. We've got to get population up so it's all green. Come on, guys, we can do this. Ooh, Mercury, she's a new character. Look at you, wow. You are the scariest mermaid I've ever seen in my life. Hello, I am from the neighboring Ocean Kingdom. What a lovely castle you have. Although, it is quite dry. Well, yeah, I, I don't have gills or have you ever been to the Ocean Kingdom? No, I haven't been there. Oh, I see. Not much of a swimmer, are you? I can't fault you for that, I suppose. No, I don't have gills as Hello, friend. Care to gaze into my magical vampire crystal? Oh, should we take a chance? Because... No. Sorry. You'll live the rest of your life never knowing. I can live with that. I will still sleep at night. <laughs> oh, it's Madame Abel. Bonjour. I've just finished moving in, but I would like to request an assistant of my own. May I have but one person? Oh, but then we're gonna go down one person, Madame Abelle. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I have one person because hopefully I'll get a happiness. No, you didn't even give me one happy person. Oh, the scientist back. The speaker system is complete. I think it worked out quite well. Hopefully the citizens enjoy the music. Oh, I hope they do too, dear scientist. Uh-oh. Loud noises are heard throughout the night coming from the Council of Sciences chamber as the children have had a hard time sleeping. So that we have got to start, I don't even worse than before, we have got to start saying no to the scientist, obviously, because he is just causing havoc in the kingdom. Wow. Is this cat trying to tell me something? It seems like it wants help. Yarno. Yarno? Is he talking about Yarno? Maybe this cat could help find Yarno. Why am I tapping my chin? Wow! <laughs> this must be it. I'll need to provide plenty of tuna, of course, but surely it would be worth the cost. Wow! Well, should I hire this cat to find Yarno? Yeah, I think this cat knows what's going on. The cat requires a hundred gold! What sort of cat are you? More profits been made on our harbour? I came by to share some with you. Thank you, dear fisherman. Uh, hello, sweetie. Can I borrow a coin for the newspaper? Again, Grandma. I thought you'd go and get a little part-time job in a... somewhere. Can I have a coin? A gold coin? Oh, Timmy. God. What are you needy people around me? Oh, look at the wealth. Right, one more day. One more day. One more day. The blacksmith. Would you like to purchase any swords for your guards? A well-protected city is a happy city. Indeed it is, but I feel I need... Are they going to lose happiness, though? Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to spend money, spend, spend, throw it at people. Monsieur Mouton, a new one. Hello, madame. Are you looking for experienced barbers in your court? I don't know what accent that was. That was... <laughs> Have we got a barbers, though? I don't want to tread on anyone's toes. I'm going to say yes. Then I shall join you. I am the best of the best. Oh, sure is spirit. Good day, madame. Do you require any haunting services? No, I do not. Uh-oh, Georgie. Hey, now here's a deal for you, pal. Give me some of your people's happiness. I'll hook you up with some gold. Sound good? No. No, it don't. Ah, look, see? Population and happiness is up. Wealth is down 22. But that is not too bad. I think I'm going to leave it there, guys, because I can hear our commotion downstairs. <laughs> it needs to be sorted out. But thank you all so much for watching. I will continue playing this, and I will, will end up finishing on an all green next time. I am pretty sure of that. And thank you all so much for watching. It really does mean the world. You are all so amazing. We are up to nearly 900, I think, 40 subscribers, which is just blow my mind completely you are all fantastic so thank you all so much here comes Sophia so remember to leave the video a cheeky thumbs up subscribe to cool kitsch tv and check out my other videos as that would mean the world see you guys later bye
Kids TV.